we're ready to start adding some validation to our form. So what we're going to do is we're going to make these three fields required. If they're not filled out, this form is not going to be valid. And to help us do that, we're going to be using the validators class that Angular gives us. And when you use this validators class, you have access to all these basic form validation methods. And the one we're going to be using in this video is the required. So we'll use this required method on all three of those controls. And if we go to our checklist, so the first thing we need to do is we'll pull in our validators class in the TS file, and then we'll set up our controls in the TS file as well. And then we'll go into the HTML, just change the form around a little bit so we can see if the form is valid or not. Let's start on the TS file first. Jump into our TS file. And the first thing we want to do is bring in the validators class from Angular Forms. So I'll just add that onto the end right here. And it's validators. Uh, the third one and then it's pretty uh, straightforward on setting it up within our controls like you just added on to the end right here so validators and then we'll use the static method and as you can see there's a whole list of different methods here that we were just looking at in the browser but I'm interested in the required one in this case and I'll go ahead and add that to the three fields so I'll copy this and paste it in your password and also your confirmed password. So all three of these fields are going to be required now. So uh, save this. Now let's open up our HTML. So now we need to figure out a way to see if this form is valid or not. And later on, we're going to be adding more advanced uh, validation. Like we'll have uh, it where it tells us like right below the uh, the input field that it's valid or not. But for now, I'll just uh, display it right here, right below the section tag. So right here, it's going to let us know if the form is valid or not. So this is going to be an easy way for us to see it. So that will show if the form is valid right here or not. Now let's check this out in the browser real quick. So save this. So now our form is invalid. And if we actually add something to our fields now, because these three are required, our form is valid. So what if you want to add multiple different validation for each field? So let's say, for example, the username, you want at least three characters in the username. You could add another validation to that. So let's check that out real quick. Back inside of our TS file, we can add another validator in here. And to do that, you could wrap it within an array like this. And then on the end here, you just add as many validators as you want. So I'll add in the min length. So validators min length. And you can set it, set it to anything. I'll set it to three. So now it's going to be validating for both of these. Uh, let's check that out real quick. Save this. Jump over to the browser. And then uh, if we add one, go ahead and add something in here. It's still invalid. Then we add a uh, couple more, and now it's valid. So that's a way you can add like an array of val validation to each input field. So in the next video, we're going to extend this, and we're going to add custom validations to check to see if these passwords are matching and we'll do that in the next video.